Hi, everybody. Sorry I've been out. Work is hell, as we all know. Uh, today's video, we are doing something very interesting. This is definitely Inner Demons Month here, so... Now that we've got the baffle top material on, we're actually going to focus on working on something that scares the absolute crap out of me, which is the final part of the baffling. And the final part of the baffling is now adding baffling to the front cowl air inlets so that it sort of seals up to the actual baffles themselves. So as you can see, the outer edge of the cowl air inlet baffle there doesn't exactly look like it meets up you know, next to the baffle itself, like there's a gap. So what you're, and that's, and that's by design for some reason. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure those distances, map them out, and we're going to add some flocks up epoxy to the back side of these air inlets so that the back edge of those more or less sort of meet and are the same as the curvature of the baffles. The idea being that there's going to be a piece of baffling rubber on the back side of those air inlets and that as they stick backwards because they are spaced just right the baffling material will easily glide over the engine baffles themselves and sort of provide a seal so that as air enters it cannot go between the baffles and the cowling and instead goes directly either into the air intake on the left side or over the cylinders to do the cooling which they are supposed to do. That's the most succinct way I know how to say it. So, what we do is we've got, um, we have a piece of metal that we wind up bending to form the exact measurements that we just took. Later on, that same piece of metal will be used to actually hold the baffle rubber in place. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to clamp them in, make sure that they are secure, and then we are going to add the flox epoxy to the gaps between the metal and the cowling itself. Then it is a matter of going back later and then sanding it down so that the so that it matches and sizes correctly. Then we will drill holes uh, through the whole thing and countersink and add screws. And that's the gist of it for the lower cowling. The upper cowling already has those two pieces that we put on the cowl to smooth out the air, so it doesn't actually wind up with any baffling. You still wind up putting a little epoxy in later, but. Now the reason this scared me is two reasons. One, uh, baffles and the engine moving together, you know, that's that's a recipe for disaster. Well, the recipe for disaster is a prop. Uh, but it's just, it's a, it's a real tight fit. And two, don't forget that this cowling is a back about a quarter of an inch more, or set back a quarter of an inch more towards the fuselage than a regular baffle is, as this is a different prop with the spinner that sticks back and because of that, the cowl itself gets really close to the baffles. Close enough that we're either going to have to take material off of the cowling or the baffles. And just as a heads up, the correct answer is both. You will be taking material off of both. There, I've got the epoxy. So now we're just filling in the cracks like I said, between the uh, piece of metal that you saw clamped onto the cowling there and the actual cowl itself. And this is nice flocks of epoxy. It's, pretty, it's a pretty stiff mixture because you don't really want it to run anywhere and you don't really have a mold. It's just sort of sitting in place. So, And that's pretty much it for this video. Other than that, and you, if you look through the chair and you don't have to look through the chair long, you'll just see it. There it is. There's some crackola for you. Uh, so yeah, sorry I've been out, just busy with work, plus uh, plus I've been heavily procrastinating. The closer and closer I get to the uh, edge of the, uh, to the finalization of this build, uh, the worse it gets. Alright, in the next video, we are actually going to, while this is drying and everything, uh, we're going to switch gears and move over to the canopy because it's time to finalize that part. Another, another installment of Inner Demons Month is coming. So thank you for joining me, everyone. See you soon.